Welcome back to American Latino TV. Up next, we have a story of a special effects artist who has developed into one of Hollywood's go-to guys when it comes to makeup and creature effects. Mike Elizalde was born in Sinaloa, Mexico, and immigrated to the United States with his parents when he was just five years old. Though out of his familiar home, he quickly gravitated to the movie monsters and creature effects of old horror films like Frankenstein and The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Fast forward several decades later, and Mike is not only creating creatures and special effects for some of the biggest movies out there, he is also being nominated for Academy Awards, including one for Best Makeup for Hellboy 2. It is quite a story and one you'll only find on American Latino TV. Enjoy. Brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. Are you ready? My name is Mike Elizalde. I'm the owner of Spectral Motion Incorporated, and we make monsters. While monsters, zombies, and creatures scare the living daylights out of most of us, creature designer and prosthetic makeup effects artist Mike Elizalde feels completely at ease around them. Just play a little bit. So compensate by adding a little more around here. That would probably help. Yeah. I definitely think I'm weird. I, I, I like that that moniker. <laughs> I wear it proudly. Thinking of making a special trip. Yeah. Like, is that least to be cool? My first interest in getting involved in this kind of work uh, the, you know, came to me when I was very little, when I was five years old. The first time I remember seeing a movie like uh, Frankenstein. And that really set in. That just became to me a very fascinating thing, um, something that I loved. It, it didn't scare me, I just thought it was so cool. I thought it was amazing. When I was uh, in the last two years of my naval career, which I thought was going to be you know, a lifelong career for me, uh, I, I really began to feel like I didn't have an outlet to express myself creatively. I began going to the library and looking for books and, and finding books that explain the techniques of how to create a prosthetic makeup. And so that's how it started. After about two years of, of learning how to do this, I, I got the courage up to submit my work to the studios here in Hollywood. I got my first job based on those pictures that I'd taken in Naval Air Station Lemoore, um, and that's how I began my career. And what a career he's had. Since Mike founded his studio, Spectrum Motion Incorporated, he has been nominated for an Oscar and worked in over 75 feature films. Some of the more uh, notable, notable films that I worked on in my career are a couple of the X-Men movies. I worked on the Fantastic Four movies for 20th Century Fox. I worked on Hellboy 1 and Hellboy 2. You see that, that line shooting me yeah. If it's, if it's when, when solvable, it gets that's down, fine. We have to put the teeth in. One of my favorite directors, of course, is Guillermo del Toro from you know, Jalisco. He's a shining example of the kind of talent that comes from, from uh, the Latino community. You should make maybe a third jowl that is all you know, so he can have a, a jiggly big one. Right, right, right. Okay. I say jokingly that I've spent 38 years trying to forget my first 10. Everything that I created in my mind, I created in the first 10 years of life. And then you proceed to talk about it. Hellboy 2, I have to say, was the movie that garnered our company here an Academy Award nomination, so I'm very proud of that. It was a great, great experience for us. These are illustrations that were sent to us from a production company from M. Night Shyamalan. And then we took those and we created a maquette, a, a scale model with different faces to show different you know, varieties of expression. The future of the industry for us is wide open. I mean, currently we have uh, a lot of different tools to use that we didn't used to have. This is a really important part of our process is to create these scale models. These are so essential as a tool to, to show our directors and producers what they're gonna end up with on film. You really have to be honest with yourself about your level of, of ability, your talent. And if it is, and you're willing to put in the time, study what you need to do. Surround yourself with people who are gonna give you positive support. It's a great sense of fog here when busy, yeah. and it creates a clarity of home. It's beautiful. The more time you spend perfecting it and practicing it, you got to keep that process going from the very beginning to the present. So that's my advice.